just because there's a pandemic going around doesn't mean we get to stay home. With gloved hands and a makeshift mask. Actually, it means we're out on the streets a lot more. Summer Dickerson hands out sack lunches to the city's homeless by herself as COVID-19 has forced most of her volunteers to stay home. A lot of my team are, you know, older people with health conditions, so I am the team right now for Women of the Well. There are around 8,000 people who live in shelters or on Louisville streets, which puts them at a higher risk for a variety of health issues, including COVID-19, according to the Coalition for the Homeless. The hygiene isn't always the biggest on their mind, um, but now it seems to be more heightened. River City Love Squad is still providing meals, blankets, and most importantly, hygiene packs to those living unsheltered in and around Smoketown. Pastor Gary Riggs says he stopped holding services, but the loss of the human connection is the hardest part. We can't give them the hugs that they're used to getting. We don't get the face to face. We try and keep the distance. You know, now that we don't care, we still care as much, but we're also caring about everybody's health and safety as well. The Coalition for the Homeless says some shelters are facing the tough decision of whether to continue to house as many people as they can or to follow social distancing guidelines and ask people to find another place to stay. A lot of doors are being shut, unfortunately, and I understand why they're being shut, but while they're being shut, there's a whole population of people that, you know, now have even more limited resources than they already had. Dickerson says she'll continue her street outreach and hopes other Louisvillians step up to help. While you're at home, make some nice little lunches up. You can even put little you know, positive cards in the lunches if you want. And let the homeless, um, our homeless family know that we have not forgot about them. Denny Camper, WLKY News.